we're going to show you how to compute the significant figures in any measurement you use in lab. The three rules for determining significant figures are, now, rule number one, all numbers, one through nine, are significant. Rule two, any zero ending after a decimal point is significant. If you have a decimal point and somewhere at the end of that series of numbers is a ending zero, that is a significant figure. And rule number three, any zeros between two other significant digits are also significant. Now let's try a few problems out to see how it illustrates these three rules. I have a series of measurements on this side here. We're going to determine how many significant figures are in each one of these. The first one, 6.751 grams. It's very important that the units are expressed. There are, these are four numbers. They are all between 1 and 9. So the number of significant figures, rule number 1, there are four significant figures in that first number. The second number, 0 0.157 milliliters. There is a decimal point here, and there is a 0. But it's not an ending zero after the decimal point. So we have one, two, three digits that are between one and nine. Rule number one applies again. There are three significant figures. 28.0 milliliters. Now you know two is significant. You know eight is significant. Rule number one. Then there's a decimal point and there is a zero that follows at the end of this number. That zero is a significant figure. So therefore, the total number of sig figs in this number here is three significant figures. The next one, 2,500 meters. There is no decimal point listed over here. There's 2,500 and then two zeros. There's no zero after the decimal point. So therefore, these two zeros here are not significant. And the number two and the number five are significant. There are a total of two significant figures here. 0 0.0270 grams. Well, we got a lot of zeros here. And there are decimal, there is a decimal point here, and there are zeros after the decimal point. But is there an ending zero after the decimal point? And there is. That's right here. And is there an, a non-zero number? Yes, the number seven. Are these zeros significant? Well, they don't come between two significant digits, and they don't come at the end after a decimal point. So these two are not significant digits. The seven and the final zero at the end of the number are significant. The total is two. 30.07 grams. The three is significant. The seven is significant. And there are two zeros in between. Yes, there is a decimal point. Remember rule three. Any zero between two other significant figures, they are also significant. So these are significant. The total is four significant figures. 0 0.106 centimeters. The, uh, there is a decimal point here. There's no ending zero. We do know the six and the one are significant. We do know any digit, any zero between two other significant figures is significant, but this zero out in front is not significant. The total is three. 0 0.0067 grams. We do know the six is significant, the seven is significant, and even though there's a decimal point, these digits are not at the end. These zeros are not at the end of the number. Therefore, rule one, six and seven. Rule two, there are no ending zeros at the decimal point, and these do not fall between any decimal point. So therefore, there are only two significant figures. 0 0.0230 cc's. The two and the three are significant. The zero, rule number two, at the end after a decimal point significant. These are not significant. They're not in between the two. There are only three sig figs. And the last one, 26.509 centimeters. There is a decimal point here. So we look at all the non-zeros. One, two, three, four of them are there. 
There is a zero here. It falls between two significant figures. It is also significant. One, two, three, four, five total significant digits in that last one. And that's how you deal with the rules for significant figures. You need to use these rules because when we do scientific notation, we will only use significant digits in our calculations.